I think it's certainly uh, a very central, central feature of, of inquiry or science, whatever you want to call it, that we are capable of, in our minds, of keeping contradictory things to, both together. And that's important because you've got a reason, okay, suppose I'm wrong. And then you follow the alternative view. And you see, you do this often in mathematics. You don't know whether something's right or not. And so you try and prove it. And you, say, oh, and you get stuck. You can't say, oh, maybe it's not true. So you go the other way. And then you try and find a contradic contradiction to it. You say, and you go around. You know, and you fail on that as well, you see, perhaps. And then you say, maybe there is a reason why. But then you sometimes may see what the reason is because of all the failures that you had on the other side. Or uh, that may not work. You say, there, there are always this ability to keep in mind alternative things which do contradict each other is very crucial. It doesn't mean that you believe at the end of it all that both things which are cons inconsistent are true, just that you, as part of your reasoning process you uh, entertain these possibilities which go against maybe your instincts. And this certainly has to, is, is very important. You've got to say, well, maybe this is completely wrong and I should follow the other route, and then you see why you, you don't believe that, you see. Or maybe you, say, you see a, a loophole, and you say, gosh, maybe I was wrong all the time. And it's very important in scientific reasoning and in other kinds of reasoning, I'm sure, um, that one takes the possibility in mind that one might be wrong and, and explores this. And, and, and you certainly have to entertain contradictory thoughts as part of that. Thank you.